Okay, so in these videos we're looking at what I'm going to call the clock model. And that is a model that uses a clock to solve for fractions. And specifically, clocks are very useful when dealing with fractions like thirds and sixths and twelfths and anything that is a factor or I guess multiple of 60 because there are 60 minutes in a clock uh, this is a model that divides something very nice into sixtieths and let's just quickly look at these three fractions to get a sense of how this model works so let's say uh, you were you were out and you were you were doing something and you said that for one-sixth of an hour right for one-sixth of an hour you were running and then for one half of an hour you were doing jumping jacks so for a sixth of an hour and then a half of an hour more you were working out running and jumping jacks how much time was this well using this clock model we can turn these into minutes so one six what would that be well there are sixty minutes in a clock break them into six parts and we get ten minutes so here is ten 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Break a clock into sixths and you get 10 minutes. So an unfriendly fraction like 1 sixth can be thought of and represented as 10 minutes. 1 half can be represented as 30 minutes. So with this model, you would say that you had worked out for 40 minutes. And then to bring it back to fractions, this is out of this is out of an hour, so it's 40 out of 60. That's what 40 minutes represents, which is 4 sixths or 2 thirds of an hour. So if we were dealing with the problem like 1 sixth plus 1 half, we could think of the clock as a model. 1 sixth of an hour, which is 10 minutes, and 1 half of an hour, which is 30 minutes, is 40 minutes, 40 out of 60, eventually bringing us back to two-thirds. Again, this model is not foolproof, and it's not always in the most efficient way, but it gives us an intuitive way of dealing with fractions like thirds and sixths and twelfths. So for example, one-third, if we split, the, split this clock into, into three pieces, right? we jump every 20 minutes. So that's a third, right? 20 minutes here, and then another 20 minutes, it's another third, Another 20 minutes completes the hour, right? So t one third can be thought of as 20 minutes. And it's great because look at this clock, right? Twelfths, there are 12 numbers on here. So twelfths are shown, there's a lighter color, right on the model. So a twelfth represents this little chunk right here, right? From zero to one, one to two, two to three, and so forth. So all these numbers actually represent twelfths. So what does that mean? Well, that means that a twelfth is this little chunk of time in here. It's five minutes. So every time we deal with a twelfth, or a multiple of a twelfth, we're really dealing with chunks of five minutes. So in the next series of videos, we're going to deal with uh, different fraction sums, and we're going to use this clock, and we're going to think about the clock um, as we're constructing our answers. And I think you'll enjoy that. It'll give you some great intuition on these fractions. Okay, thanks.